going to talk a little bit today about uh, some of our local sustainable sourcing efforts, some of the successes and challenges we've found, and I'm really going to hone in on our Northern California region and kind of thinking, of, thinking about local sourcing and how that can impact these communities. So this, this map just gives a, a, a sense of where we're located. The dark blue is where Kaiser Permanente is located, and I'm really honing in on the Northern California region. We have 3.6 million members, 21 hospitals, 6,000 patient meals a day, and about $11 million in spend on our patient meals. That doesn't include additional spend on cafeterias, which are outsourced um, to a food service vendor, and then also our catering. Um, so the way we source food in Northern California, um, it's really done regionally. We have one central food commissary where all of the food for 21 hospitals in Northern California is prepared and then sent out, prepared fresh and sent out daily. So this really impacts the way we source food and in terms of getting local food, we really source it regionally within 250 miles. Um, it also will impact um, the need for volume of food that we can guarantee kind of consistent food served at all 21 hospitals across the region. Um, and I'm going to point to the next slide. Um, th this is just highlighting some of the key priorities when we look um, in terms of our food procurement. Food safety, obviously we're, we're working with a very compromised population, so it could be challenging uh, for some small producers to meet those food safety standards. And CAF, Community Alliance with Family Farmers, and we've partnered with over the years, is a great resource for bringing some of those farmers up to speed and educating them and capacity building around that. Um, healthy food uh, and we have our healthy food criteria and goals are also key and right now we, we have internal goals around healthy eating and also external commitments such as Partnership for Healthier America. So that really drives a lot of the, the food sourcing in terms of making sure the processed foods or breads and things are healthy. Um, and that is a national initiative. Uh, also, our sustainable food purchasing, um, our criteria and goals. So we have goals, our, our current goal is to achieve 20% sustainable and local food spend by the end of this year. We're currently at 19% and we're on track to, to make that goal at the end of the year. Um, I will say that our sustainable food uh, criteria, within those sustainable food criteria, we have local, and that is defined as being within 250 miles of our facility. So that's kind of a subset in terms of our sustainability criteria. So that's something to keep in mind as well. And in some cases, certain items don't make sense to purchase locally, or they're not available locally. Like right now, we have a grass-fed beef that's um, you know, that we're purchasing, it wouldn't necessarily make sense to raise the volume that we need in California in a drought. So we really try to prioritize the, our high volume, high impact items when we look for sustainable uh, items to, to source sustainably. Um, and we also need to find items that will meet our criteria and specifications, first and foremost, assurance of supply, I mentioned food safety, but also that they meet our healthy and sustainable criteria. And then I also wanted to mention that the distribution channels are very important for us. As Kendra mentioned, a lot of our food comes through our mainline, broadline distributors, um, like the U.S. Foods, or this is Go For Us, it's U.S. Foods. But some items like bread and produce, it really makes sense to get regionally, and, our, and dairy, that makes, makes sense to get regionally. Um, and I also wanted to mention, I saw something in the, in the information um, you know, that was distributed about um, diversity suppliers, and that's a huge initiative within Kaiser Permanente. We are currently part of a billion dollar round table. We're sourcing more than a billion dollars from diversity suppliers, and we're working to keep growing that as much as possible. So that may play into things as well. And does diversity suppliers mean minority? Minority women that are in, yeah. So, so some of the key products that we source locally, and I'm just going to let's kind of also mention, were um, produce. Uh, dairy and bread, and, and the produce currently in Northern California, about 75% of the produce we've purchased is local or sustainable, mostly local, and some of that overlaps also sustainable. 
meeting some sustainability criteria. Our milk is all RBST free, and it's also sourced within California, and our bread um, with, within our patient meals in Northern California, we really have been looking for items that will meet our KHA standards, so we've had some items customized to our needs, and we've worked with various suppliers to look, for example, for a whole wheat croissant, which wasn't really on the marketplace, but it was something we really wanted to put on our menu. So that's an example of kind of how we work specifically with a local vendor to you know, get a product that can meet our needs. Um, one other thing I wanted to mention about the local produce sourcing is we have different models in Northern and Southern California that have, that have worked for us depending on the region and, and what was happening in each region. So Community Alliance with, the fam a community alliance with Family Farmers um, has been a great partner for us um, and we started a pilot with them in 2006. A lot of the, the work we do around innovating is really starting with pilots and seeing how that goes and then expanding. With our local produce sourcing, um, there was a great partnership with CAF and that, that got going and that really launched our program in Northern California. However, in Southern California, we didn't find a partner, nonprofit partner, but we, we had a demand for the local and sustainable product. Um, a private distributor and processor contacted us and we set up a very, a partnership kind of customized to our needs so we could also source, source local and sustainable from farmers in the area, and that has been a really, it's just been interesting to see how it's evolved differently, and there are different ways to make it happen. So I wanted to talk a little bit about the challenges to source, sourcing locally and sustainably. So in particular, I think one of the key areas is availability of product and the volume that we need and the specifications that we need, especially working with 21 hospitals for patient meals trying to get product that's consistent across all sites. You know, when we're working with small farmers or even getting it through the through an aggregator, we really want to make sure that we're providing a consistent product. Um, so pricing is also a challenge. You know, we've been working with our menus to try to source, uh, to try to make them a little bit more seasonal and to um, take advantage of the better pricing for seasonal products. Uh, the distribution also, um, Getting a product into the, the larger distribution system, it's challenging sometimes for us to work with just to, to purchase directly from individual farmers. So we, you know, I, ideally want to get it through an aggregator and then into our, our produce distributor, or if it's not a produce product, into U.S. foods. So labor costs that you mentioned that to Kendra, and that's a challenge for us with um, you know the washing and the processing product like vegetables in particular um, you know it's best if we can get them some items pre-processed um, and that's a, that's something that really helps and, and then our commissary model in northern california i think also makes it challenging to get product um, for example if there's a farm in richmond and they wanted to get the product directly into the Richmond facility, since all of the, the food is produced in that one fund facility in Northern California, I mean, in South, in South San Francisco, that product would go to South San Francisco and it could be distributed to other Northern California facilities. So it's, it's tricky sometimes to make that direct connection within, within one town, but if we're able to keep it regional. So. Um, and then, as I mentioned, the decisions around sustainable versus local, so sometimes one makes sense more than the other. Um, so my last slide is really around potential opportunities. Um, so we can fix that's my way. So local produce, there's still I think room to expand the local produce sourcing, um, not only for us but I think for other hospital systems and even to use the uh, project that Kendra mentioned as an example to find other firms that are willing to work with that um, project to get their product into hospitals. Um, also, I think processed items made from sustainable or locally grown ingredients are a huge potential area, um, you know, for local businesses to, to fill that gap in terms of providing healthier items and, and sustainable items, one or the other. And even if they didn't meet our local criteria around um, being for processed items, we, you know, we follow the Green Guide for Health Care Food Service credits, which, which basically says at least 50% 50, 50 of the ingredients have to be grown locally. But I think that um, even if it didn't meet that sustainability criteria, it could still 
you know, support local a local business and a healthy economy, even you know, if we're able to meet some of the healthy requirements and the other requirements. Um, and then the catering is another area I see as a potential opportunity because Kaiser Permanente has recently, about a year and a half ago, implemented a health, healthy catering policy, and we're still kind of you know figuring out how to best implement it at individual facilities. So I see a huge opportunity for local businesses to provide catered food that meets our healthy healthy food criteria. So, and there's information on our website about that, um, and I'm happy to share that with anyone who's interested to learn more. And I think that's it. Thank you so much. Um,